Welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing my Burberry banner bag. So I have had quite a few people ask me to review this uh, Burberry banner bag and I have done a review on this but um, this bag now I've had for two years and I think it was just before Christmas or a month or so before Christmas someone asked me to review that then I got another person asking so today I thought I would do it um, I went and found the receipt and I can now tell you this bag I've had for two years so we're in uh, 2018 I got it um, in February 2015 so is that two or three years 15, 16, 17, ah, three years. That's nearly coming up to three years. Sorry, three years I've had that bag. I thought I'd had it longer. So I wanted to talk about the wear and tear on the bag and would I buy it again and just a few of the features. So um, just before I go on to do that, I'll tell you I believe this is the medium one. I believe when I got this, I think a smaller one came out after that, maybe a larger one. I believe this is the medium. I do have the product code here, so if anyone wants to check on that, I can send them the code. And I paid $2,195. I bought it in the Brisbane store. I live in Australia, um, Brisbane, so that's where I got it. My sales associate at the time was the beautiful Antoine who used to work for Louis Vuitton. So this bag, would I buy this bag again? Yes, I would. And the reasons I'd buy it again is I believe it's a really good quality bag for the amount of money you pay. Um, I have two Burberry bags and both of them I believe are very good quality bags. Um, I think I love this bag too because of the colour and I'm a lover of the check of Burberry but if you don't, if you're not a lover of that but you want a Burberry bag that says a little bit of Burberry, this is the other thing I like about this. I love the check on the side um, as well as being a leather. So you're getting the best of both worlds and for a leather bag this is very light. And I like that I can wear it a number of different ways, um, you know, like that, or I can have it with the strap, which is the way I wear it a lot of the time, so I can have my hands free and still have a dressy bag. Uh, I like the colour of this. The only thing I'd probably say about this bag, it does have one mark here, so it does tend to be a bit, get a bit dirty. You've got to be, you've got to baby a little bit. I don't baby my bags a lot, but just because of the colour, I'm sure if you've got a darker colour, um, that would be a lot you know, wouldn't show the dirt as much. I think I I should try and get this off, but I think I sat down at a coffee shop or something and I've got coffee or cake or something on it. And I haven't been game enough to rub it, but I should try and get that. Other than that, the bag is in, I'll just show you up closer, the bag is in really good condition for a three-year-old bag. So yes, the colour I love because it does get a bit dirty, but I love it because I live in Queensland or Brisbane. It's a subtropical climate. We have a very hot summer, so I find this is a great summer bag to go with my denim, my white dresses or my white jeans. So I would definitely buy it again. And the other thing I think is good about this bag is that it has a really wide opening. You know, I've got the Speedy and a few other bags, and they're not as easy to get things into but this one is just got such a wide opening that it is just so easy to get to and it has um, in the middle you've got this pouch so with a, a zip so you've got two compartments to put your main um, bigger things in and it has a pocket on you know to put your if you want to put your keys or your phone or to keep it you know more secure I don't use it but there's a magnetic um, sort of latch in the middle of them to close that even more so you can have it closed like that I tend not to but you can do that um, I believe you can probably even move these and make that even bigger I don't think you need to the bag is quite big um, I find the straps are very comfortable like I said it's a light bag I like how it's got the feet on it as well I try and put my bags on a seat if I'm going out to a cafe or something but on the odd time, I have put it on the floor. I don't baby them. But really, other than that mark, it hasn't shown a lot of wear. There's not a lot of wear around the corners. Um, I don't use this bag every day. I have so many bags. I'm a handbag addict. I'm addicted to designer handbags. So if I used it every day, it might show more wear and tear. But I really honestly believe 
this is a good quality bag for the price that you've paid. I mean, I've had other bags that I've paid more that haven't stood the test of time and I'd probably use them just about the same. So all I can say is I would definitely buy it again. Um, the only thing, and this is just, I'm taking the stuffing out. The only thing that's really disappointed me about Burberry bags is the cheaper label they put. I'll just show you. I don't like that. I just think that cheapens it. Um, it's just got all the details and everything on it. Um, yeah, I just, I don't like, to put that in it, I think it could have been like a leather label or something like Louis Vuitton does. And I did, I remember speaking to Antoine, um, my sales associate at Burberry at the time, and he, you know, didn't know what to say, but I just think that's a shame in a lot of ways. Oh, and it has got on the other side to show you, it has the mobile phone pockets as well. So you've got two pockets there, the one in the middle, or the one there, the one in the middle, and then the big pocket there with, um... The zip there for if you wanted to put your keys or something. So I am about five foot seven, five foot seven and a half. So this size suits me well. And as you can see, it's not a small bag. It does fit quite a, a bit in it. So I also love how um, these handles here are padded. So this makes it a bit more, um, just looking a bit more expensive. So would I buy this bag? Definitely. If you're thinking about this bag, I can highly recommend it. I mean, I think it comes, I don't know if this colour's available anymore, um, but they are still making this bag and there's still lots of other colours. Obviously, these colours come and go, they're seasonal. But yes, if you're thinking about it, go ahead and buy it. I can highly recommend it. So that's my Burberry Banner Bag. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe, push like, and follow me on Instagram. And don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time. Bye.